Hey guys, I'm Owen. Art has always been an important part in my life. It all started when I was in grade first, and it all went on to be going as a hobby until unless I realized it is a very essential part in my life and it is very more important to indulge in it and think in a more creative way. And while I was going through the journey of learning art, I tried most experiments. and trying it on canvases rocks sculptures monuments and also modeling and where it came to a point where i tried abstract where i had a different imagination and the people who see it will have a different point of view that is always been the most essential part and it has always inspired me to do better and good so now i give up on to nikhil who is going to explain you about calligraphy and why is it important in science and maths Hi, uh, I'm Nikhil. My basic background is in engineering, but I have always taken interest in calligraphy. And uh, lately, I have been dabbling into all sorts of arts and craft, including doodling, including quilling, origami, and and all sorts of stuff. Because I'm fascinated with how art is related to field of science. We have always isolated in school. We have all always isolated math, science, and from art. You know, we. But now we realize that. one thing is sort of works in sync with the other and personally i believe that there is no maths and science without art so uh, uh, maths and science always talks about say uh, say nature or say uh, calculating a certain thing say if you are an engineer you will be calculating uh, uh, say a length of a, a building or you might be designing something so uh, understanding art is very essential from a mathematics point of view or from a science point of view uh, if you are a, a a biologist or if you are a doctor you know like you will be looking at nature and nature is a perfect example of so many things science for example you know like a, a pineapple the the eyes of the pineapple sa pineapple is always in a, a something called as a fibonacci sequence if you are a science student you would probably heard about that uh, say uh, a shell if you pick up a shell in the on the seashore you know it's it's a beautiful piece of uh, art done by nature but then you will realize uh, that uh, a shell is a sort of a a fibonacci uh, sequence itself which is uh, termed as a golden ratio if you know about da vinci all his works are science related you know like uh, it looks good at the same time it's it's all maths and science so you can't isolate art from say maths or science so we will try and look at nature say bamboo itself you know like bamboo the segments of bamboo are always in certain ratio the the, the leaf patterns are always in a certain ratio uh as if you might have already done biology you know that the sunflower petals are in a certain ratio the calyx are in a certain ratio so all these are sort of golden ratios of nature you know so the more you get into calligraphy doodling you will learn more and more about what these are you know and you take interest in art you understand maths and science as well or you take interest in maths and science you can understand art as well so even even the simple color structures in nature you know so uh, once you understand uh, the proportions of mixing stuff you, we all know that you know white color is a, a mixture of seven colors so uh, while doing art is the is the only way to find out if it's true so you you take seven colors you mix it and you do realize that it turns into white so uh, you can't isolate art from maths and science so uh, uh, once again you know like uh, uh, i would like to introduce that this workshop would uh, try and cover aspects of calligraphy aspects of doodling and basic aspects of drawing structures as well uh, aspects of visual thinking also you know like from a, uh, a management point of view so i'm i'm sure that you all will be successful businessmen or entrepreneurs or even you know uh, work for larger enterprises where you would require sort of visual thinking so this this workshop overall will will help you with that uh, so uh, let's let's leave it there and uh, i hope that i see you uh, guys during our workshops thank you so much